So, gaming in a MacBook Pro, how's it been? Well, this video I've been wanting to make for a while, but I've thought, nah, no one will be interested in it, but then I've just thought, fuck it, this is this is what I want to make. And I want to talk about the 2015, not 2015, 2016 late MacBook Pro base model, no touch bar. That's a model I've got. I bought it last, no, I think I bought it last November. Well, I bought it a couple of months after it coming out. And it had been good to me. It has been a good system. I have loved video editing on it. It is a miracle of video editing. But one thing I have been trying different stuff on is gaming. And surprisingly, it holds up pretty well. Well, yes and no. It can play games smoothly, but the Mac's internal cooling system is insufficient. It cannot cool the components good enough. So it overheats significantly. So I had to download a Mac fan controller which allows me to manually amp up the fans. And that does significantly help a lot. It enable, allows me to play certain games like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. I can play them at 60 FPS on high settings. It'll get hot, but not too hot, but I must use a fan control, otherwise it will just fry it. And to be honest, my experience with Mac gaming has been pretty good. In Mac OS, it's been a bit of a mixed barrels because certain games in Mac OS, Minecraft, but Minecraft works best on everything. But Minecraft works brilliantly on it. And, but one thing I have noticed, it did get hot running Minecraft, which shocked me. It did actually get pretty scorching hot running Minecraft. We're not even the settings all the way up, so... We're well, a bit suspicious it was getting hot like that, but I just shrugged it off. Playing games like Empire Total War, that's, that's one of the games I played. It, it plays it, but it does not like it. It really hates playing that game. Outlast 1, it plays fine. It actually plays it at smooth frame rate and all. It actually does play pretty well. But let's get into the other stuff like but like Boot Camp. I have got Boot Camp running Windows 10 Pro on it. Which that does significantly help gaming performance. Because the main reason I installed Boot Camp was because I wanted to play Fallout 3. And if you know, Fallout 3 on the PS3 and console is not the best. It does, it is not, I don't think it's designed for it. It struggles running on it and it crashes a lot. That's one thing I did notice. So I decided to install Boot Camp on my MacBook. And I was actually shocked how high, how high I was able to get the settings. I was able to run it. I couldn't have anti-aliasing anti on whatsoever though. It just killed the frame rate. It, I got like 10 FPS. But if I disabled all that and just ran it at 900p high, I could get a actually pretty pretty solid 60 fps it dropped sometimes to 50 during intense combat but i could get a 60 fps and it, i the temperature around 70 to 80 degrees some of the times but on a hot day it did news touch 95 which wasn't acceptable i just can't have it running that high because 100 degrees is the max temperature before it will declock itself which will just hemorrhage hem i can't say that word right but in other words it would just destroy the performance it, the game would just drop performance like mad because it declocks the processor but many games and it have been working well i did notice one issue though the forest if you've ever played that it's a pretty good game it does when i tried running it i could not it would not run on my mac on windows 10 i was thinking what the fuck's up with this why is it struggling to run the game like this? i had the game on ultra low 520p not 580p it was running it on ultra low and guess what frame rate i was getting 15 to 20 fps and i thought what the fuck is this shit i started i started thinking this macbook cost me so much money but it struggles running a game on ultra low at 5 hp and i started getting pissed and then i looked into it a bit more and found out that the issue could be caused by not updating it's meant windows is meant to update your nvidia your, not your nvidia your intel onboard graphics drivers but it doesn't and i thought nah that can't be the issue but i thought yeah i'll try anything there's no other possibility and surprisingly, this one little Intel onboard graphics driver update for the Iris graphics actually did wonders. It actually boosted the performance significantly. I could amp it up from ultra low to fast, and I could run it at a solid, well, I could get running at 900p and get between 60 and 80 FPS, which, that is pretty sick. I'm not saying it's sick because it's doing that on a Mac, I'm saying it's sick. That literally, it's just unreal that a little driver like that can make so much difference, can significantly boost performance that much. I haven't really played many other games on it, to be honest. I've been on the games I've played on it is Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and what was that other game? I played The Forest on it, and this game called Simple Chess. Pretty good chess game, it's free to play. And I played a couple of horror games on it, just some random free to play ones. 
and it actually held up pretty well. It did, the temperature did spike significantly, it did get really hot. That's due to the Mac, the MacBook Pro's cooling systems are pretty shit to be honest. As much as I love Macs, the cooling system is terrible. I have never witnessed a cooling system so bad. I know it may sound bad that I'm like, like I've been saying all this good stuff about Apple saying I've been shot by its mail to do this. But it, that's the one thing I disagree with. It does run too hot. It got red. When I put my hand underneath it, it was running red hot, running Minecraft. And it won, the settings were torn down. It was book, It was struggling. And I don't know. This way Mac OS, by the way, as well, not Windows. But after for some reason, after a while, it stopped doing it. So I don't know why it was. Cause there were no programs running in the background. But the only one thing I've noticed is it does not like recording screens no matter if you're just on the desktop or what if you use quicktime player or obs to record your screen it does not like it i cannot record gameplay or anything on it without it rust in the system because i used to use a gaming pc but that packed in and fucked up and then because i didn't have that i didn't have the money to buy a new one or replace it all i had was my macbook so i thought mm, i'll try some gaming on that and fallout 3 which is my favorite game of all time actually runs superb on it it runs absolutely magnificent. To say Fallout 3 is Fallout 3 is an old game, yeah, but it did run surprisingly, surprisingly well. Same as New Vegas. New Vegas were from 2010, and you may, and I think that's pretty good. But then I think about the price, and this MacBook was when I first bought it about 1,300, which for the performance I'm getting for, on gaming anyway is absolutely horrendous. Sure, it can run games from like 2008, 2010, like Fallout. At pretty high settings but they're all games and I have seen people on YouTube testing it and running games like Fallout 4 on it but the temps are just unbearable it would be the temps are too high to be able to do a sustainable gaming session I'm like, sure 10 20 minutes fair enough but no other that it would fucking fry it would thermal throttle like fuck there's no way around it Max one thing I have loved with my Mac though Sure, they are not the best gaming machines, well, they're probably one of the worst gaming machines out of them all, but the thing is, they can game, that's the one thing I've learned while gaming on the Mac for the last couple of months. I I do mainly play my games on my PS4, but there has been times where I've wanted to play Fallout 3 and New Vegas, and they have run surprisingly well on the Mac, and same as like Minecraft, I, I, I do think Minecraft on Mac OS and PC is better, I like using mouse and keyboard with it, and that runs pretty decent to be honest. So, them game experiences have been good, but the only issues I've experienced, really, is, like, overheating with playing games. Which, is pretty shit that the Apple push shit cooling system in it. If it had a better cooling system, I think it could have achieved a lot higher FPSs in games and could have been a lot smoother. It wouldn't really matter if it gets over 60 FPS, like in the forest, because it's only a 60 hertz screen, so it doesn't really make no fucking difference, you can't see the difference. And the Thunderbolt 3 ports only support 60 hertz monitors, so you can't even hook it up to an external monitor to get the other FPS without using an eGPU, which is even more money. You might as well just buy a gaming PC or buy a cheap gaming laptop. Right, so really, the MacBook Pro, for I'd say for video editing, it's the best video editing machine I have ever had. And it's so clean and so quick at rendering video. And just like the gestures and stuff on Mac is pretty pretty good. And I'm going a bit off topic topic here because I know this one to be talking about Mac gaming and stuff. But it is it is pretty decent for Mac for gaming. Say it's an Apple computer. Sure, one thousand three hundred you could have bought like a gaming laptop with a ten sixty in and an i seven quad core in it, which yeah would have fucking obliterated in games. Which I have already looked at the benchmarks of them and they utterly obliterate it. But Macs are not gaming machines, that's one thing all well, people game on Mac need to remember. It is not a gaming machine by any means. Sure, can can it do gaming? Yes. But don't crank the settings up to high over as it will firm or throttle. But I'd say if you want to do gaming now and then, you want say you want to port or ultra portable machine, but you love gaming still. So it's alright if you're running your games at low settings, it's actually pretty playable and it's a really portable machine and it's pretty nice. But if you want to know more, like to play the newer games, Mac is the wrong choice. Really, for any type of gaming, Mac is the wrong choice. But if you're a video editor like me and like you like watching YouTube videos and you like using Apple services like FaceTime and stuff on computers, 
and mainly Final Cut Pro, that's one of my main things what I like Mac. Then if you're a video editor but you want to do a bit of gaming side, by all means buy a Mac. But if you are just solely a gamer and you're not a content creator, you're not a video editor or anything, even if you are a video editor, if you're not putting, if you're not needing software to Mac a lot, if you're not wanting, in other words, if if you're running like a gaming channel or something, then by all means render on a PC. But if you're doing all more complex, I'd say go for a Mac because the render times are a lot quicker. Because I've new, I've news rendering on PC and comparing it to Mac, it does it does perform pretty well. Mac does actually obliterate PC in video editing. But never, ever, as much as I love Apple, never buy it just for gaming. I've seen so many people on about this. Even with Metal 2 coming out, just with Metal 2 coming out, it is not capable. It is not a capable gaming machine. The IMAX, the new IMAX, the 27-inch 5K IMAX, I've actually got pretty decent CPUs in them and I've got pretty decent GPUs in them. They are capable gaming machines, but the, the, to get it fully specced with just the minimum SSD in it is £2,600, which is extortion. To say you could build a gaming PC for £1,000 that, that would crush it in ga gaming's why if you're a video editor that'd be the best system for you but if you're if you're a gamer if you're more of a gamer than a content creator go for a pc because you for like a thousand pound you'll get better performance than the imac sure the 5k screens are nice one thing is good about apple is the screen quality is amazing the picture is so crystal clear that's why it is nice to play games on mac that's why it's a shame that they don't use nvidia gpus and not more powerful because if they were more powerful and it could take advantage of that beautiful display it would be pretty amazing but it just can't Macs are not Macs want designed for gaming but now nah, I've seen Apple more concentrating on gaming like they bring out metal last year now no wait last year or year before in El Cap 10 so they've been improving on that and now they've just released metal 2 in high Sierra which does boost graphical performance significantly so my honest opinion, I know I've rambled on a bit in this video but I've been wanting to make this video for a while and if you've got patience to sit through this video, thank you very much for having the patience for me. But in this video, I just wanted to talk about my experience with gaming with Mac for nearly a year now. I've been gaming on Mac for nearly a year and I have had a good experience with it but it's not best if you just, even with Metal 2 and all these improvements Apple's bringing, it is not a good gaming machine. It, the, simply, the cooling system is simply not good enough to be able to sustain long gaming sessions unless you're playing older games like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas that will not run significantly hot because the, the old games don't demand as much power but for video editors, I'd say Macs are best for video editors but right, the, the, I'm going to end the video soon because I know I've been dragging this on a lot but like the pros of Macs really is video editing a stream, like the operating system is so nice and streamlined and complete, it's just like bug free that I barely ever ever Ever, 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 ever any issues with it. I got my words mixed up then, I don't know why I kept saying ever. But, but Mac OS is such a nice experience. And if you're just doing like gaming like Minecraft and some other games, it is perfect. But I'd say if you're a video editor and a gamer, and you've got enough money to buy both, I'd say just get a Mac for video editing, and then just buy or build a gaming PC or gaming laptop, and just game on your PC, and video edit on your Mac. Because they are, Macs are pretty good for for video editing mainly. But they are nice to play games on now. And then there's a guy I watch on YouTube called, uh, what call it, Mr. Mac. Right, he's, all he games on his Mac computers. That's what he loves most. He makes tons of videos just about Mac gaming, so you should go and check his channel out. But that's it for this video. I know I've dragged this video on way longer than I should have. And I know I've stuttered in the video a couple of times, but sorry for that. I have not slept in two days. But, oh well. Right, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I have spent a lot of time talking, about 17 minutes or something. So sorry about um, if you've if you sat through all this video. Thank you very much for listening to my voice for the last 17 minutes. Sorry about your ears, but yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit a like button and comment what you think on Mac gaming. And peace out.